Okay, this lighting is atrocious, but it'll have to do. We're in San Francisco. We drove all day today, six hours. It was actually kind of fun. I love road trips. I think they're fun. I just kind of put my headphones on and disconnect from the world. It has not really hit me that tomorrow I will be playing my first headline show with the band on this tour. Um, that's kind of insane. I'm sure it'll be a fucking great time. There is a part of me that is terrified that like two people are gonna show up. I guess we'll find out tomorrow. <laughs> my tour manager, Mac, and I just went to a seafood restaurant with a literal dress code and I'm dressed like this. So that was fun. I forgot my fucking camera. I'm already off to a bad start. I will see you tomorrow. It's 9.30, I think. I had a dream that I was in San Francisco playing this first show. And I was backstage. I could not pick an outfit for the life of me. I was really struggling. And I didn't have time to do my makeup. And then Ryan, my drummer, came backstage and was like, um, yeah, the sound guys, like, they tried everything, but, like, no one's gonna be able to hear you because it's just, like, the venue's too small and, like, just, that's just how it is. And I was like, well, okay. Um, so then he went back on stage. They started the intro without me. I wasn't ready. I just, like, threw on a shirt and jeans. And then I was trying to put my in-ears in and put my pack on. And I missed my cue to go on stage because I didn't get my ears in in time. So then I just like was, I ran out on stage like randomly and started singing and it was fine. And then after that happens, everyone uh, starts leaving. And then suddenly it turned into an outdoor venue. The whole audience just leaves. And by the end of the first song, no one is there. <laughs> I think that sums up like pretty much what I'm nervous about. <laughs> I woke up at five after that I had that dream and I wrote it down on my phone so I wouldn't forget it. Now I'm just like terrified of those things happening.
I was like way too exhausted to have any words that were coherent about last night's show last night. So I thought I'd just talk about it this morning. I haven't really ever played with, you know, the full band and the full tracks and the interludes and the transitions and all that stuff. Like, never really done that. So last night was the first time and it was so much fun. I feel like I need to take this entire day to recharge because I feel like I definitely am not at 100% energy yet. That's just me being extremely introverted. <laughs> uh, today I think I'm gonna go sit out by the pool and then start editing this vlog. Yay! Um, I, um, look like a mess right now. <laughs> I just have this gut feeling that, like, I can't do this show every night. Like, it's just so emotionally exhausting. It just takes so much out of me. I just feel like I have nothing left to give, like... Last night was so much fun, and it was great, and then like 15 minutes after the show, I like didn't even have the energy to like speak, and today like feels a little bit better, but like I just can't imagine like doing it again, like it just feels like so much. <laughs> I don't know if I'm cut out for this, I don't know if I can do it. I don't want to go through all these tour dates and then at the end feel like I have nothing left. I don't want to feel like a shell of myself. I don't know what to do. I mean, the only thing I can do is play the show tomorrow and hope it gets easier. Just thought I'd keep it real. I know. <laughs> Do you want to have... Oh, yeah. I can't... We got some uh, sesame cookies. Ooh. I think, I think it's going to be cute. I was hoping it would be something... They're weird. Not for me, I don't think. Whoa. Okay, wait. Can you see the inside of this? I think it's pretty good. I feel like this over the um, blueberry marshmallow. So we made it to Oregon. We're not in Portland yet. We stopped halfway in Ashland and we're spending the night here. And then tomorrow morning, we're driving the rest of the way to Portland. The drive today was fucking beautiful. There's a dog that keeps running back and forth in my like backyard area. He's really cute. Yeah, I think we're going to dinner, all of us. We're gonna have a family dinner. So I'm just gonna get changed probably. I've been wearing like the same outfit for the past like four days. I think we're gonna bike to dinner. It's very exciting. I miss biking. I haven't like ridden a bike in so long. Anyway. Yep. Oh my god. <laughs> Other people on board with it? I'm not 
okay. <laughs> My lower back hurts so fucking badly. It hurts to sit, it hurts to walk, like it's real, it's real bad. It's real bad. I have been like doing back stretching exercises. You know, it's kind of helping, but like not really. And I just feel so tired and not with it today. And now my back fucking hurts like hell. So I'm just gonna hope that it's fine for the show and then afterwards just like do more exercises and go back to the hotel and lay down forever it fucking hurts though like i'm in pain i'm also on my period it's fucking worst combo oh god wish me luck how you feel not i mean okay in this position <laughs> not great overall how do you feel Fucking good. <laughs> <laughs> Casual. The British people love the gap or just you? I think it's just a me thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like mums and that's about it. Not the gap. <laughs> <laughs> It's 6.50 a.m. <laughs> and I don't want to be awake, but lobby call is... No, it's not 6.50. It's 6.44, lobby call is at 6.50. We're driving to Seattle and then dropping our merch off and then driving to Vancouver. And then driving back to Seattle after the show. So it's gonna be a long ass day. My back feels better though. So that's good. Uh, okay, bye. Good night.